name is Alfredo Trento and I'm a Chief of Cardiac Surgery at the Cedar sinai Medical Center. I have been in practice since 1985. I started my practice in Pittsburgh and then I moved to Los Angeles in 1988. I perform about 300 procedures per year. 80% of my practice now include above surgery. In cardiac surgery, there are several procedures, and the most common one 20 years ago was not a valve procedure, it was a coronary artery bypass. Coronary artery bypass uh, was the so-called bread and butter for a heart surgeon. 70% of the procedures were coronary artery bypasses, but I get more satisfaction in performing a valve procedure because uh, I I see that the patients uh, really improve uh, significantly. Very often, uh, patients with valve problems come in quite sick, and uh, they go home feeling better immediately. There are different valves in the heart. There are four valves in the heart, but surgeons are involved mostly with the aortic valve and mitral valve. So an aortic valve repair is very rewarding for the surgeon and for the patient because he's able to keep his own valve. And then there is the mitral valve. The vast majority of the mitral valve pathology is, so, is what we call a, the mitral valve prolapse. The most important advance in the past 25 years for me was to be able to streamline the procedure in a way in which basically every move of my hand or my hands is directed to do something. Every second of the operation is used for the procedure. And that has uh, cut down significantly the operating time. You know, cardiac surgery has evolved uh, into becoming less invasive. I use the robot in 100% of mitral valve repair operation. The robotic Da Vinci system allows us to see extremely well inside the heart. We see better than we see on an open heart surgery, on a traditional approach through the, the midline, because the camera really puts you inside the valve. So we are ready to go. We'll be done around noon time, okay? And I'll come out and talk to you around noon time. Oh, you have time for coffee. <laughs> I do care about the patients. I, I, I think really being involved with their personas while they are in the hospital and uh, transmitting the fact that you care about them and you want them to do well. I think it really helps them to have the right attitude in improving.